Hey, 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 what is up guys, Zen and Redstone here, and today I have constructed a color combination lock. Now, this is actually my first combination lock, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to explain uh, mostly how a uh, color combination lock works. So, and then probably Saturday, I'm going to release a tutorial on how you can build one of these, so you can just build multiple of these, like, across in a line. And you can set them to whatever you color you want them to be. So how a color combination wor lock works is, basically, you have this sort of system, where as soon as you press this button, this pu piston pushes it up, this push piston pushes the blocks down. Now that these blocks, this black block would be here, this piston would push it over, and then this piston, since this block would be here, would push it over. And then that would be one complete cycle. Now, this is the color wheel. This has nothing to do with the actual opening of the door. This is just so you know um, what the code is, because without the color wheel, you wouldn't know what the code is. So, the, right now, the code from right to left is white, red, cyan. So, when the cyan block is in the glass, that will be one open. Um, when the red block is in the glass, that will be two open. And then, when the white block is in the glass, that will be three open, and the iron door will open. So, now, this is the memory wheel. It does the exact same thing. Except it has glass the whole way around. So this will not this comparator will not pick up the redstone signal. And then one block is the cauldron. So this is the cauldron and you fill it with water. So this receives the redstone signal. Now this works the exact same way. You just have to connect it up. And I will be doing a tutorial so you will know how to connect it up. So this tells you what the color is so it tells you the correct combination so you know how to open the door but nobody else does and the more you add the harder the combination becomes to crack because there's more possibilities so this moves in sync with the color wheel moves in sync with the memory wheel now whenever the memory wheel the co the cauldron in it allows the comparator to detect a redstone signal, it will turn off one of these three redstone torches. Now, all three of these torches need to be turned off in order to allow this torch to be turned on to allow it to open the door. If any three of these, or however many you want, uh, however many color combination locks you want, if one of them is turned off, the whole thing will not work. So, say, these two are still off, so the only redstone torch you should see turn on is this one right here. So, if I press this button and it cycles around, now the redstone torch is on, which is powering this repeater, because the color is no longer white, the color is purple. So now, if you cycle all the way back around, as you will see, the door will continue to stay closed. 